Hello XDA, my name is Lynx Loves Android, and this is part one of my new proof guide for everything desired. Um, this part isn't necessarily needed for the flashing procedure, um, but I'm going to showcase it to everyone beforehand so you know that it is 98% possible to brick your device. It's still possible, but chances are that you can just flash your RU file again and it will bring you back to the stock uh, provider. ROM, which came in your phone when you first got it. First thing you're going to do is find your software version by going to settings, then go to about phone, then the software information, and you're going to take that baseband version you have right there, and that software number right there, and you're going to go to shiproms.com. You probably better just click the links I posted on XDA. Um, these are all the different providers and everything for your ruse. Um, there's mine, the TELUS WWE. That is my stock provider. So first thing you're going to do is download that file. When it's downloaded, you're going to place it somewhere on your phone, or pardon me, in your computer. That is easy to find and safe. Chances are you're not going to have to flash this anytime soon, but I'm just going to showcase to everyone now so I don't have to come back and do this later after flashing any ROM. Um, Basically, I've already opened the program. This allows you to update. I understand the caution indicated above and the, have read the README. Yeah, as you can see, you got to make sure USB device is enabled and your phone has over 30% power and unknown sources is set up. Plus, also make sure standby and hibernation mode on your PC are turned off. Once they are, click next. Um, it'll verify the information on your phone. It's going to, it reads that I'm on Cool Sense. As you can see, it's I'm on Cool Sense HD. It reads this. Um, I click Update. Okay, and there's the, this version right here is the stock version that came in my phone. So we're going to click Next. Um, as you can see, update the process. The following things may occur. Your phone may be, the Android phone will be prepared for the update process. The, Progress information will be displayed on both your PC and phone, and the update, update completed screen will be displayed on your PC. Okay, right, we're ready. Up updating ROM, rebooting to bootloader. As you can see, my phone just turned itself off. Now it's in the HTC bootloader phase where it's going to erase everything that we have installed on the phone and then reflash everything TELUS meant for us to have in the phone. Um, this usually takes a few minutes, so I'll probably just edit a large portion of this video out because, as you can see, it does take a little bit. Um, like I said, the only reason I'm doing this is just to showcase the people that are newer in our forums that fixing your phone isn't a big thing. Like. It's extremely easy to do after you, you learn. That's why I'm posting this video to teach everybody that HTC is probably the safest phone I've had. Um, came from a Samsung Fascinate, which had a lot of issues. Um, no custom ROMs were made for my phone, so we had to kind of port them ourselves. And I ended up bricking my last phone. This one I'm 100% more in love with. It's so much easier to fix. Uh, this isn't the first time I've actually flashed back to stock done it about three or four times just to teach myself so I can help my friends do theirs and whatnot. Now I've hacked about five of my friends phones. Not once have I even came into an issue that I wasn't able to pull up on XDA so if you know if, you, if my tutorial doesn't tell you what you need to know you just look around the, the desire forum I'm quite sure uh, you'll find a nice person willing to give you a hand. Like I said in the post, this is going to delete your root, your S off. Um, only thing it's going to keep is your files on your SD card, that uh, like your music, videos. If you place APKs, you download it from foreshare.com onto that on your on your SD card. They will still be there. Okay, so you don't have to worry about none of that. Make sure your accounts are backed up before you do this because you will lose your call history, text messages. Uh, 
contacts if you don't have it set up through your Google account, which I also advise set up everything to go through Google so that you have an instant link to your contacts without actually having to pull the old school route and write them all down one by one by one on a piece of paper, which is extremely time consuming. And I had to do switching from iPhone 4 to my Tel is fascinating. Oh, and that just kicked in. Rebooting Android phone. Phone just turned itself off. Your ROM has been completed. Your Android phone is now ready for use. So we've just flashed back to stock. It's going to be the same way that HTC and TELUS created it. All your extras are going to be deleted, your apps. All that goodness. But this is video was just created so that, like I said, newer people can get the gist of you know you know, don't be afraid to root your phone you know there are risks involved but you know as long as you follow a person like myself who's willing to put the time out to help you get through these procedures it's a breeze once you figure out what you're doing you won't even need to look online anymore it, it'll come to you naturally right now it's just it's finished loading all the data in that it had just previously flashed it's gonna restart the phone again So now, like I said, we're back to stock. Everything is gone. This is the most useful thing. If, if, if I hadn't have found this online, I probably would have had a brick phone by now. But make sure you download your Rue beforehand just so that you know you're prepared if anything ever happens. That is one of the biggest things I have to push against people because, you know, you don't want to get 10 hacks deep into your procedure and then not be able to find a Rue if something messes up. So make sure you get that off the get-go. Back to Tell his stock. Everything back to normal. Nothing set up. So this is part one, just showcasing to you how to use the the shipped ROMs, RU files. Um, just continue reading with the process. I'm going to showcase everything along the way, including flashing additional stuff like splash screens and all that goodness. As you can see, everything is erased. No longer have the PCW up top. Um, my Android backups are useless. It is uh, stocked. Back to 2.2 from 2.2.1. Okay, so just follow along with my guide and I'll post another video on the rooting process. Alright, thanks.